Hello, my name is Benny, and I would like to show you something cool using TypeScript and ChatGPT. ChatGPT has attracted over 100 million users and holds the record for the fastest growing consumer application in history. The possibilities offered by ChatGPT are extensive and steadily growing, thanks to the availability of the OpenAI API. One popular example is transcribing YouTube videos to create blog articles from the transcripts. But programmers still face a big problem. How can we turn text inputs into the right input format for our functions? In TypeScript apps, functions often expect specific types of input that may not always be strings. Wouldn't it be fantastic if large language models could convert natural language into JSON payloads that fit our software? Well, that's precisely what the Microsoft team thought, and they made it a reality with TypeChat. Using TypeChat, it is possible to turn questions into a desired TypeScript type. Let's take a look at an example for better understanding. The function report travel duration represents the business logic of our demo application and requires a specific input type called travel. The travel data type consists of origin and destination of type string and a mode defined with a union type. What we aim to achieve now is to have TypeChat generate this payload type from any given text. For this purpose, I have already prepared three texts. 1. How long does it take me to go from Berlin to Munich by car? 2. How long do I have to cycle if I want to travel from Potsdam to Berlin? 3. How long does it take if I want to return from Berlin to Potsdam by bike? To convert these texts into payloads, we just need to use TypeChat. To install TypeChat, simply use the npm install TypeChat command. I'll guide you now through the functions that you can import from this package. In the main file of our program, we just have to define the paths to the input texts and the path to the types against which the inputs should be validated. Furthermore, it is necessary to select a language model to process the inputs. TypeChat is designed to be model neutral and offers basic integration with the OpenAI API and Azure OpenAI services. If you are using the OpenAI API, it's important to have an active subscription to avoid getting rate limited with HTTP 429 errors. Once we have defined our model and schema, we can call the createJSON translator function. It takes a type argument, allowing us to define the type for our resulting data. All that's left to do is start the program by running the process requests function. This function takes a prompt to present to the user, the path to our text inputs, and a callback function that will be invoked for each line of the text file. What's really exciting is that the translator returns data in the exact format we've defined, making it easy to use this data in our existing code. In the case of report travel duration, the data will contain information about the matched mode of transportation, as well as the past origin and destination of the route. To put this data to practical use, we import Google Maps Node.js SDK. By doing so, we can effortlessly access Google's Distance Matrix API and obtain the distance between the two locations, along with the estimated travel time using the provided mode of transport. Let's run the code to observe how it performs in real life. To validate its accuracy, I've added a log statement that displays the JSON payload generated by TypeChat and the distance report. With all the API keys set up correctly, we can now observe the resulting JSON payloads and the response from Google Maps, all based on conversational texts. Let me mention a few points about the demo. It is built using the ECMAScript modules syntax, which is why I have set type to module in the package.json file, along with setting module to ES2022 in the TypeScript compiler configuration. With the ES2022 module definition, we can use top-level awaits, have ESM support, and context-specific metadata through import.meta. Using import.meta, we can replicate the special constants from Node.js to get the file name and directory name based on our current module. Additionally, we should import Node-specific modules using the Node prefix and apply JS file extensions in our local imports because ECMAScript modules enforce file extensions. If you want to give it a try yourself, I've made the repository available on GitHub. I'd like to also thank Dan Wallen for his showcase of TypeChat. I'll include the link to the video in the description.